transformed into our debate stage tonight, and we saw some really different areas from our four candidates tonight. Yeah, they talked about a wide range of issues from reducing crime to how to bring more businesses to the city, and we saw some pretty intense debates on this stage. And let's start with an exchange over the use of crime statistics in the city. Since you are the mayor pro tem, um, how can you say that crime is down 48%? I don't even get that. And then you said that you got that information from the chief of police. So how does that come about? Because you, you are the mayor pro tem. I got news for you guys. If you want to be mayor, sometimes you're going to get bad data and you're going to have to stand up and own it and move forward. The problem, the disappointing part of that is that the reason that the controversy came to be is because another one of our opponents hired an opposition researcher and spent thousands of dollars to try and find mistakes to start that type of smear campaign. I mean, Councilmember Ashby had been uh, running around uh, the community, including a number of debates saying that crime had been reduced 48% in her district. That seems surprising. I don't think a reasonable person, especially a leader of a community, could conclude that crime would have reduced by that amount. So we just asked the police department some questions. Once you lose hope, you become angry. So I refuse to believe that there are just bands of thugs that are out there in the city attacking our city. These are real problems. The economic problem is the real solution, as well as education. Another flashpoint, state money that was cut to cities at the time Daryl Steinberg was leader of the state Senate. I think the former senator often makes the claim that he did a great job of closing the budget gap at the state level, and that may be true, but the fact remains you did it on the backs of local governance, and you took away resources from Sacramento and cities all across the state of California. Councilmember Ashby has used this uh, line quite a bit. And like with other issues, I, I think sometimes you have a habit of not checking your facts. Because the truth of the matter is the legislature did not end redevelopment. The cities ended redevelopment. I fought for redevelopment in the midst of the worst budget crisis in modern state history while trying to avoid cutting health and human services and education as well. This debate was also about vision and what the candidates would focus on improving. I envision a river walk. I envision this place never stopping. The number one priority for infrastructure uh, has got to be dramatically improving regional transit. Regional transit needs massive help, and that begins with actually moving people around. Definitely flood control, and if you don't think it's that, you're not paying attention in Sacramento, because our whole region is a floodplain. So I think we got a good sense of each candidate's mm -hmm. style and their positions on the major issues. And of course, Sacramento voters still have a few weeks before they have to decide who they want to be their next mayor. All right, the election on June 7th, if none of the candidates gets 50% plus one, it will head to a runoff election in November with the top two vote getters. And with that, Kelly, Brian, we'll send it back to you. All right, Edie and Golston, thank you so much.